lovies, welcome back to another DIY. Today I'm really excited about this one. I'm excited about all of my DIYs. The holidays are coming up and I know that we're going to be spending a lot of time with our family, friends, and you're gonna have a lot of events to go to. And what is better than to have the perfect holiday skirt? The best part about this skirt is that I made it with pockets. It can be totally hideous and if it has a pocket built into it, I am going to give that store my money. I absolutely love this skirt. We're gonna go ahead and get started on this DIY. So let's start out with the fabrics. So for this project, you're going to need two types of fabric. The first one is organza and it's going to be the sheer panel in your skirt. Now you're gonna try to choose one with a little bit of body to it so it's easier to sew and it holds up a little bit better. And then the second one is just a woven cotton. Um, anything that's in like the quilting section, maybe a little bit thicker would work out just fine. So the main skirt is partitioned out into three sections and we're actually going to start on the main part of that skirt. So for this part, you're actually going to need three pieces of fabric. So the first piece, which is also your front piece, will be the measurement of your waist. And then the length, I did about 15 inches, but if you want a longer or a shorter skirt, it's totally up to you and your height. Now the other two pieces is going to be half the measurement of your waist and the length is going to be the same as the front piece. So you're gonna end up with a long rectangle that looks like this and then two squares that looks like this. Now before we sew anything together, you're going to need to cut out some pockets and it's just four pieces of fabric laid on top of each other and you just trace out the shape of your hand or you can just use the pattern that is on my blog. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take the front of your skirt and you're gonna mark from the top of it down about four and a half inch, maybe a little bit higher depending on how you naturally stick your hand in your pockets. Now you're going to pin the pockets on each side starting at that mark and you're gonna sew straight down on the line to connect the pocket to the skirt. Taking the two back pieces, you're going to mark down the four and a half inch mark as well. And then you're going to pin the pockets and sew straight down, just like you did to the front. Okay, so this is really crucial when it comes to pockets. You're going to open up the seam and iron it flat. You're gonna go inwards about half an inch from the bottom and the top of the pocket. And you're just gonna make a small little snip and you're going to open up the skirt seam again and you're gonna iron it flat. And you're going to repeat this on the other side and also on the back pockets as well. So now you take one panel of the back and you face it right sides to one side of the front. You're gonna sew up the skirt around the pocket and then all the way up to the waist. And you will repeat this on the other side of the skirt. Okay, so now we're ready for the second section of the skirt and that's the sheer panel. Now the width of the sheer panel is going to be the same as the bottom of your skirt. And then the length is up to you again. Mine is around three to four inches. You're going to face it right sides to the skirt and sew straight across. Now the thing is, you can see the seam through the sheer fabric and that's kind of annoying. You can leave it if you want to, but for me, I don't like the way it looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to fold the seam under the black fabric and then I just top stitch along the edge and it just hides the seam and it looks totally professional. Okay, moving on to the third panel of the skirt and the black panel is going to be at the very bottom and it's going to be the width of the sheer panel and the length again is optional. I did about three inches for this one and you're gonna face it right sides to the sheer fabric and sew it all the way across. Again, the seam is showing here, so go ahead and fold the seam under the black fabric and sew across on top of the black fabric. Okay, so now we got the three panels together, so now you just gotta fold the skirt in half and sew all the way up to where the zipper is going to start. And then here, I just went ahead and attached an invisible zipper. If you want to attach a regular zipper, that's totally fine and up to you. 
Okay, so once the zipper is in, we're gonna have to work on the waistband. And the waistband is going to be the measurement that goes around your waist and you're gonna add three inch to that measurement. And on one piece, I cut out interfacing that is a tad smaller all the way around the fabric and I went ahead and I just placed it on top of the fabric, a piece of cotton on top of that, and I ironed it onto the waistband. So with the piece that doesn't have interfacing on it, I'm going to go ahead and mark the midpoint of that waistband. I bring the sides in, letting it overlap about an inch and a half, and I mark the folds on both sides. With the skirt, I gather the waist by sewing a straight line with the largest stitch length. I take the thread underneath and I pull it and it will help gather the skirt together. Now to attach the waistband to the skirt, what I do is I match the side seam on the skirt to the first marking on the waistband. And then I match the other side seam to the last marking on the waistband. And the midpoint is gonna land somewhere in the middle of that gathered skirt. Also, you're gonna notice that maybe you gathered a little bit too much and you have a lot more waistband. Just go ahead and just maneuver your fingers around it and they'll help loosen the gather a little bit to match up to the waistband. Another quick thing is that at the end, you'll notice that you have around an inch and a half left over. This happens on the other side of the skirt as well, and that's actually a good thing. So don't try to cut off the inch and a half. You have to leave it there. So go ahead and pin all the way around and just sew the waistband to the gathered skirt. So now I'm going to take the interfaced waistband and I lay it straight on top of the waistband and I sew up the side, across, and then down the other side. I snip the corners and I flip it inside out to make sure that the corners are nice and squared. Now this is totally optional, but I went ahead and sew in three rows just for detailing. You really don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought it looked cool. So to finish the waistband, I fold the bottom of the band under and I keep folding the band with interfacing under and I pin all the way across. So to sew this, you would actually have to sew with the front of the skirt facing you. It will give you a really nice finish, but make sure that while you're sewing that it catches the band at the back. And it should do that, but just in case, you know, just double check every time when you're sewing. For final touches, you can go ahead and hem the bottom of the skirt, hand sew on some clasp at the waistband. That's the reason why there's that inch and a half left over. And then if you still see the thread from the gathering, just pull it out and that's pretty much it. A sheer paneled skirt with awesome pockets. So I hope you guys enjoyed that DIY. If you're going to attempt this, be sure to take a photo of it and hashtag it with S-L-O-A-B-N. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Remember to support me by liking this video, sharing it with others, subscribe to my channel. Also, I do have step-by-step -step photos of all of my DIYs on my blog, you guys. It's just something extra, just in case you don't wanna listen to me talk. You just wanna follow a step-by-step -step photo. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to always rock on, slow abyss. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another favorites video. Today I'm going to be doing my October favorites. And as you guys may know, my favorites has a little bit of everything. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with music. So if you guys don't know this, I like country music. Just feel like I can connect with